What's up guys? It's Kevin with The Knife Doctor. Uh, thank you for tuning in today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this channel is where I love to share my hobby. My hobby is I love to find used and abused knives that need to be repaired. I love to find them uh, rusty and nasty, broken handles, broken springs, messed up bolsters, anything damaged on the knife and if I can't repair it I strip it down and, and save the parts that I might need in another repair so I'm always out looking for uh, an old messed up knife but the knives that I do can repair I like to repair them so that future generations may enjoy them like we are today because as you know it especially the vintage USA made knives, they are just getting scarcer and scarcer every year. They're getting harder and harder to find. But I scour flea markets, yard sales, state sales, pawn shops, and even eBay for knives that need a repair. And I also like to talk about EDC, everyday carry, such as pistols, watches, billfolds, flashlights, anything and everything at all that you could carry on yourself to make a bad day turn into a good day because you're prepared. I also like to review camping gear from time to time so you might see a video of that so if you like that kind of content on the channel please subscribe but today what I'm going to talk about is uh, some knives that I bought on eBay and found in the flea market this past week so stay tuned good morning good afternoon good evening guys whichever time you're tuning in I appreciate you're here but I'm going to tell you about some knives I bought at Smiley's flea market in Macon Georgia I love going up there, so it's, it's huge. And they got an area I call the yard sale type area where they have tables and they just have, it's just full of stuff that I love to, to look at. But uh, I bought three knives there, these three, and I bought this one on eBay last week. Uh, I'll tell you about, about this one here in one second after I tell you about these. These two here, this one's a case. Double X, according to the stamp on the main blade, it was made between 1965 and 1970. The model number on the back is, is a 3318HE. And if you're not familiar with case, first number always indicates the material used on the handles. And this is a three, so that means it's a yellow composition or yellow plastic used to be here. The second number is the amount of blades. It's got three blades. That's what the second three is for. If it was two, it would only be a two blade knife. So it's got three blades, so that's why there's a three. 18 is the pattern of the knife, and this pattern is a stockman or a stock knife. Uh, the HE means it come, came with a sheep foot blade, which is right here, and a pen knife right there. But this is a great little knife I found. And I'm going to be able to put the handle back on here and clean it up really nice. And kind of reshape the blade. As you can tell, but see, as you can tell, they've been, been whittled on some. But overall, the blades are not, the springs are in good shape. The blades don't wobble, you know, like this. They're good and tight. And, uh... At least I love to find these type of knives and just bring them back to life. So we'll do that. And this one here is a hen and, and rooster knife. You see the, the hen and, and rooster there on the main blade? And it's made in Germany. How about that? But this knife is going to clean up good. And the blades are overall, they're, they're, they're stainless. No, no wobble at all. The only thing is these little pins, they go in and out. I'm about to get rid of these. It prevents the blade from shutting down like that. But no problem at all. We'll get rid of these and put the new and put new handles on them. This knife is gonna shine up like new money. That little pin there. Preventing it from shutting. There we go. And see how the main blade is? How perfect it is. They just need to be clean, oiled, and new handles. And both of these, I'm going to be putting oak wood on and staining it in, in pecan. This one here, 
I bought off of eBay for 25 bucks with shipping and everything. Broke handle here. I'm going to take this one off. And I hate to take this one off, but I am. But I want them to match. Again, I'm going to put oak wood on there and stand it in, in pecan. But this one's made in, in, it's a western knife made in Boulder, Colorado. And this here, you see that right there? Y'all know what that's for? It's got the jagged ed edges on there. I'll tell you that if you stick around at the end of the video. This one here is another case knife. It's a Sodbuster. Made in 1973. You can see there's seven dots down there up under the USA. See how the case double X USA was seven dots. In 1970, the case case knives introduced the dot system in the in 1970 it started out with 10 dots and for every year that passes they take a dot away so three dots are gone so that means it's a 1973 and uh 1979 would only have one dot so in 1975 would have five dots so you get the the, the picture but it um it's a 73 Broke tip. I'm going to be putting a new tip on it and cleaning this thing up good, putting a good edge on it. It's going to clean up very well. And I can already tell the spring is tight. It just needs oil. And it, it and it, I guarantee you that's going to get its snap back. Snap is what I mean when the blade closes and it pops like that. But I had to use my, my finger. But I guarantee you all it is, it needs to be oil. But this pattern number, if I can read it, so 2138. Two, that means it's black composition, black plastic. One is a single blade knife. It's one blade. And the 38, that means the the uh, shape of the knife. And it's a side buster. So ain't that cool? That's why I love case knives. But these two here, guys... I paid two dollars and fifty cent each for them. That's five bucks. And this one here, I only gave three dollars for it. And I know you're like, well, it's got a broke blade and all that, but no, you go try to find these on buy these on eBay. They're still they're they're they're, they're selling them for twenty and twenty five bucks on eBay, like they are. It's crazy. But eight bucks for all that. And again, I gave twenty five of this on eBay with with. With shipping, I'll get to this jagged thumbnail here on both blades. What this is for was a match strike. You could actually, I guess back in the day, the way the matches were made, you could uh, rub, see it's kind of rough there. You could strike a match. Hear, hear that? You could strike a match with that. I've tried it on the matches made today, and I can't get it to do it. But that's what it is. That's what it's for. And you can tell this thumbnail edge here is, is smooth. But I thought that was a pretty cool idea. You can tell how rough it is. Anyway, guys, these are the knives I'm going to be working on. I'm going to start with this one today. And I'll be doing a video on that. So... Thanks again, guys, for tuning in today. I really appreciate the support. If you like the content of the video, just give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And remember, guys, always be like a good knife. Stay sharp, and I'll see you on the next video.